Hello, Mr. Zonker here, and this video is on absolute value equations and inequalities, and you are absolutely going to value the knowledge that this video brings you. Let's get to it. For equations, now absolute values always make the expression inside positive. That's what we kind of know about absolute values. They always make whatever's inside positive. But we want to think about absolute values as the distance from zero on a number line. So if, for example, if we had absolute value of x equals four, we're saying this number in here is four spaces away from zero. That means it could be negative four, four spaces left, or positive four, four spaces right. That means if we solve this, we would have x is equal to either negative four or positive four. For solving absolute value equations, we want to isolate the absolute value first, just like you would normally isolate a variable, then set equal to both the positive and negative value, since it's distance from zero, it could be either positive or negative. Then solve to get both of your solutions. Let's look at a couple examples. Here we have absolute value of 2x minus 1 equals 7. So like we said, this can either equal the negative 7, 2x minus 1 is negative 7, or we know that 2x minus 1 can also equal positive 7, just like we saw in the number line before. If we solve each of these, we'll get x equals negative 3, or x equals 4, and that's actually going to be our answer, x equals negative 3 or 4. So, we have the absolute value by itself, we set equal to the negative and the positive, and solved. For this example, we have five times absolute value of x plus two minus one equals nine. We actually need to solve for the absolute value first. So what I'm basically gonna do here is pretend that this is my variable and I wanna isolate that. So I can start by adding one to both sides of the equation and that gives us five times x plus two equals 10. We could divide by five both sides and doing that, we will successfully isolate the absolute value, that absolute value of x plus two, that's what we wanted to get by itself, equals 10 divided by five is two. Now that the absolute value is isolated, just like before, we can split this off into two separate equations. That's x plus two equals negative two, or x plus two equals positive two. And if we subtract two on both sides, we'll end up getting an answer of x equals negative four or x equals zero. Just like when we solve equations, we can test these by substituting them back into the original to make sure they work. So that's always something to keep in your mind if you're not sure that you got the correct solution. Moving on to inequalities. Here we have absolute value of x is less than five. That's basically telling us that x is less than five spaces away from zero. And that basically can be visualized on our number line by saying it's less than five spaces to the left. That would be one, two, three, four, five. All these are less than five spaces to the left. And all of these are five spaces from the right. So when we have a less than inequality, we end up getting this range of values between two numbers we can see that x is between negative five and five, bigger than negative five, less than five. For greater than inequalities, like x minus three absolute value is greater than or equal to five. This means that it's more than five spaces away. So if I'm counting my spaces from zero, one, two, three, four, five, it's going to be greater than or equal to five spaces away to the left, and then to the right, one, two, three, four, five, it's greater than or equal to five spaces away to the right also. So whenever we have greater than inequalities with absolute values, we end up getting whatever that absolute value was. X minus three is less than or equal to negative five in this case, and greater than or equal to five. So for solving absolute value inequalities, we wanna isolate the absolute value once again. We can use a number line to help visualize the situation and then finally set up and solve the inequalities. Example A, we have absolute value of four X is less than 24. 
I'm gonna use a number line to help visualize, and you don't have to make tick marks all the way to 24. You can just write a number just to visualize what's happening. And in fact, if we are less than 24 spaces from zero, I'm gonna use open dots here, open dots, since it's not equal to, I know it's going to be in between those values. So, in other words, 4x, my value inside my absolute value, is bigger than negative 24, less than 24, right there in between. And if we solve this, same principles of solving equations, we can divide by four to get x by itself, and I need to divide by four to each part of my inequality to make sure everything stays equal. That's gonna give us final values between negative six and positive six. That's our answer. Example B, absolute value of x plus one, minus two is greater than or equal to four. Well, first let's isolate that absolute value. So I'm going to add two to both sides of my inequality. That's gonna cancel the two out to get us the absolute value by itself. X plus one is greater than or equal to six spaces away from zero. So if I wanna visualize on my number line here, I know I'm gonna be more than six spaces away, which means that I'm going to have a closed dot because it's also equal to more than six spaces to the left and more than six spaces to the right. And we can see from this number line that we're gonna get these two separate equations uh, or inequalities, sorry. That is x plus one is the value inside less than or equal to negative six or x plus one is greater than or equal to positive six. We can see how that mirrors more than six spaces away from our number line. If we solve each of these, subtract one both sides, we're gonna get a final solution set of x is less than or equal to negative seven or x is greater than or equal to five. To wrap this video up, I have a very special treat for you and that is to go over some special cases. Basically, absolute values cannot be equal to or less than a negative number. Since absolute values are always positive, that makes a lot of sense. So for example, absolute value of x could never equal negative 10 because no matter what value x is, it's always gonna end up being positive. Likewise, absolute value of x certainly couldn't be less than negative 10 because that is also going to say that this needs to be negative, which is not the case. So be on the lookout for these special cases when it's equal to or less than a negative. We know that these types of inequalities or equations have no solution. All right, everyone, I hope this video was helpful.